What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode on how to move your applications from your Android device over into the SD card that you just picked up for the device of your choice. Now, more than likely you're using an Android device or a Windows device, but this is specifically for Android. Maybe I'll do one on how to move them over to your SD card for Windows phone as well in a future video, but this one's for Android device. It's basically, you get this SD card and we all know how to change it from the storage on the photos and you know, we know that music and videos all download easily onto the micro SD card, but some of us don't know how to take those apps and throw them onto the micro SD card. Now I know some of you, this is gonna be very, you know, common sense type video. So if you already know how to do this, then you can just, you know, head out right now and go check out some other videos that I created on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but let's get into how to take those apps and put them on to your SD card and your Android device. Let's go. All right, guys, for this example, I'm going to use the Amazon Fire tablet that I had. I know you've seen videos of me do this in the past. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I also have uh, videos on the Kindle Fire full review and you know some other videos on that but let's get into how to you know move them to this sd card so if you notice we probably bought a micro sd card that's why we're over here on this video checking out how to move them so you get your little card and you insert it into the slot and usually music and photos sometimes automatically go on there sometimes you got to change it in the camera settings but let's show you how to move your applications from your device to your SD card. So if I go into settings right here, you're going to see, I'm going to go down into storage on my device right here. You're going to see I have 1.86 gigabytes free of 5.63. Now, yes, I hardly have any storage on this device, but whatever. It is a $49 tablet after all. So let's go back home. And uh, you're going to want to go into the Play Store. And from there, go ahead and type in apps. Oh, there it is. <laughs> apps 2. SD card and uh, you'll see right here app manager by Sam Lu. this is the one that I found to be the most accurate now you guys may disagree if you found a better way to do this go ahead and comment down below it can help other people out who are watching this video and would like to know but go ahead and click this application right here and uh, you can go ahead and install it to your device basically it moves apps to your sd efficiently now i do want to mention that some phones like some of the cheaper phones like some of the zte phones and stuff they don't even let you move any apps over to it so if you get any errors that's because the device itself does not allow transferring between files i don't know what it is it's kind of tricky so this may not work for your android device and if it doesn't well you can go ahead and head out of this video but um it should work if you have, you know, a decent enough device that can actually transfer files. But say, see these ones I have right here that are movable. All of these right here are movable. So let's do a Netflix, for example. And it's going to say move app, open, app store, uninstall. So it's kind of a manager as well. It's not just moves as D. This whole app kind of offers, you know, a little bit what's on your phone only. And phone only basically says these are the phone apps, the ones that cannot be moved to your SD card. So these don't even think about it. They're staying on your device and they're taking up space. But anyway, let's go back to movable and let's do that example of Netflix. So if we go to Netflix, you're going to want to hit move app and then it's going to say app should not install on the external storage, whatever. Let's just not read this. Let's just go down here to proceed to move. This is all you need to go to is proceed to move. Go ahead and do that. And you're going to see right here, a little option right here, move to SD card or storage device card. And we're going to go ahead and move it there and it's going to take a second so give it just a minute it's not going to just you know boom like that most of them unless it's like a one megabyte app so give it a second and let it do its thing you can also head out while it's doing it it's not going to like mess it up it's still going to be moving in the background because after all apps on android do work in the background so let's go back into that app where was it apps app manager three and uh there you can see now it says move to tablet that means it was sent over to the sd card now let's see in the storage if we saved ourselves some space here so let's go down into settings and let's scroll down to storage and remember it was 1.83 before and now it's 1.90 so it saved us about you know seven megabytes or so but 
um, if you see that you have many apps that are movable, this can really help you out and save you a little bit of space when you just want to eke out that one extra app on your device and you just need this app and you're like, your device is saying, I don't got enough space, this can be very helpful if you have a micro SD card. Also, I want to mention that for the camera, if you go on camera, I don't know if it does it on this Kindle, but a lot of times you can go into your camera on your Android device and you can go into settings, you can go into settings and there'll always be an option if it enables it. There should be an option for sending it over to your SD card. It doesn't show it on my device, but on the Samsungs and, you know, some other devices, it's, it'll show how to, you know, send it over to the photos. Also, yeah, basically that's it. So that was just how to move your micro, your, your applications to your micro SD card. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much why I made this video. I've been wanting to make this one a while. Um, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below, and uh, subscribe for more technology videos, how-to tips, tutorials, product reviews, rumor videos, or whatever, gaming videos maybe, in the future, that might be, um, and pretty much anything you want to see over here, everything tech, we keep it random, we keep it fun, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace, guys.